Mastering Engineer of the Year, sponsored by Radial. Matt, congratulations on the award. What does it mean to you? Um, yeah, it's, uh, I, yeah, I'm sort of speechless, blown away. It's a, a great honour, um, very uh, thankful to the MPG. And yeah, just um, up against Ray and Mandy, who are awesome engineers. I don't really know what to say. It's, um, yeah, it's, you know, I've been working hard for 16 years and uh, this is the first award I've won. So it's kind of new to me. And uh, yeah, I could probably get used to it. Chris Martin describes you as a man with golden ears who has a bag of fairy dust under his desk. How does that feel? Uh, yeah, no, he's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing when you know, people who've achieved that much say nice things about you. So, uh, yeah, it kind of makes all the hard work worthwhile. And, uh, yeah. As good. a mastering engineer, there's been a lot of controversy over the last few years about the loudness wars and record companies putting pressure on you guys. To, do you still feel able to be creative in that process when you're, you're delivering an album? I think it totally depends on the project itself, to be honest. Um, loudness isn't inherently wrong. Some things are good that are loud. Um, you know, it's difficult. It's difficult. You know, we're regularly asked to push things maybe a little bit further than perhaps they should go. But, you know, uh, I try and seek out where I can different projects that allow you to express yourself differently. And, you know, you're not always trying to be the loudest thing. You know, maybe you're doing projects that have a different aesthetic. And, you know, yeah, just, and also you just try and talk to people and, you know, where you can um, try and push them towards the best sound, not necessarily the loudest sound. You know, you sort of do what you can. You're a true craftsman. You deserve it. Have a great evening. Thank you very much.